Travelers, influencers, back again. And I'm at my house chilling out and you know what? No more traveling. So there's no more traveling influencers. But I'm at home right now, you know, and I said to myself, you know what? I feel like I want some goat head soup, man, which is manish water. So I'm gonna go to the shop now, see if I can get some goat head. If I can't, I'm gonna get the goat meat and make some goat soup. So follow me and let's see what's going on. Travelers, influencers, back again. And today I'm at my favorite shop. My favorite shop. I'm gonna be doing curry goat. What am I doing? Goat head soup, man. That's what I'm cooking. Listen, the general is here. What you yes, say, yes, boss? Nothing, man. Oh, corona, corona everywhere. I know this That's guy. It. I know this guy from used to go to school, you know. Yeah, I'm still in school. He's a terrorist boy. Him and his brothers give yeah. pure trouble in Tottenham, we're but still, still they've done it. well and their dad's proud of them. So. Here I am, so I'm gonna walk around and see what's going on. Oops, hold on. Where's the rest of the man then? That's another brother, that's family. Yeah man, these guys, these guys are respected guys in the community. I grew up with them in Tottenham and um, they've done very well. They've grown in, the shop was very small. I don't even think five people could have come in here um, in the eighties and now it's a massive shop. So they've done well for the community. community. So follow me and let's see what's going on. I need yam. I need, I need soup mix, I need planting, you know, I'm going to go in hard today. So follow me and let's see what's going on. Okay, it's cooking time. And as you could see, here is my goat meat. I didn't get no goat head, but I got the goat, the goat meat. So yep, yeah. and I'm cleaning this. Listen, when you clean the meat, you know, you've got to clean it thoroughly. I'm the kind of man that would spend all 10 minutes cleaning this meat, you know. Water in, water out. Water in, water out. Here we go. I will not stop cleaning this meat until my water is see-through, until it's white. You know what I mean? Travelers, influencers in the kitchen, man. Yes, I'm here washing up my pumpkin and I've got this thing here called veggie wash. You see it? Now listen to me. This is very important because when they grow these things and they're not organic, there's a lot of pests. What do they call it, Jen? Pesticide? Pesticide. 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 On it. Pesticide. Pestilence. <laughs> On it. You know what I mean? Right? So we have to use this spray. And then we'll use this brush and brush it off. So, you know, if those kind of things cause cancer and all these things. So we have to deal with our vegetables in the right way. So. Yeah man, this will get all, rid, rid of all the pesticides and it will also get rid of wax. So sometimes they wax these things, have it waxed. So this will clean the wax off. So you'll be eating the right thing and doing the right thing. Here we go, I am good to go. Now here's all my ingredients. I have pumpkin, carrots, I have an onion here. What I usually do, while the meat is cooking, I will put an onion in there. That's my style of doing things. Give it a flavor. Okra, I have thyme, um, garlic, green banana, yellow yam, um, sweet potato, and the good old, the good old scotch bonnet pepper. Yes, man. This is coming together nicely. Let me see what's going on with the pot. So as you can see, the pot is bubbling. 
So we'll make this cook down for a while. Then we'll come back and put our all our other li little bits and pieces into this pot. It's gonna be delicious. It's already here now. My chocho, I've cut it up. I still gotta cut it up some more. I've got my pumpkin, which I've cut up already. My carrots, I'll cut that up a bit more. More carrots. My okra, I sort that out. My pepper, my thyme, my green banana, and my yam. I just cut it up a bit more finer, and then I'm put. Then I'm ready to put it into the pot. And here we go. I got manish water flavorings to go into to my soup. And yep, that has to go in there. I will also put a couple of spoons, maybe one spoon of all-purpose seasoning to give it a bit of flavor. And I will also use salt. This is the salt that I use. Red salt, excellent. So all that's ready, all this is ready, and I'm good to go. As you can see, my pot is bubbling, man. Look at that. This is the real deal okra, the meat, the, the goat, the goat meat, yam, dumpling, pepper. It's all, oh, look at that pepper, man. That pepper, that's what gives it that taste, you know. Listen, I wish you guys was here to smell this. Man, this is mad. Pumpkin, this is what you call real goat meat soup. In Jamaica, we call it manish water. So, yep, let me put this back on top. And I'll be back here in a minute. This is what you call a man's bowl. So, yeah, man, let me take out this. As you can see, there's yam, dumpling, okra. Everything is in that one little bit of serving there. Delicious. Here we go. this and drink this. I need some more meat man. Where's the meat? Where's the meat man? There it is. There you go. Man, I wish you guys was here I was to, to eat some of this, you know. I wish you guys was here. That looks, that looks like the chocha. So we've got yam, dumpling chocha and um, the goat meat. Wow. Let me take another bit of carrot. Another bit of carrot. Here you go. Boy, I tell you. And put a bit more meat in there. Oh, I've just realized I don't have no dumpling. What's going on here? Put a bit of no dumpling. Flour. Listen, man, see the size of my flour then. Oh, there is one then. Oh, I've got two now. All right, not to worry. Here we go, so this is it. Goat soap, which we call manish water in Jamaica. So, yep, I'm gonna tuck in right now. Here it is. It looks a bit more better over here. The light was a bit shiny over there. So, yep, it's all here. You see, this, you see the size of my spoon though? No. <laughs> <laughs> Extra large, yeah man, don't laugh. This is what I'm gonna be using to eat this food, man. Look at that, the goat meat, the dumpling is there, the yam, the the um, the um carrots, the okra. I need some more okra in this, you know, I'm going back to the pot. I don't even see it, but then, you know, a lot of the okra kind of kind of cook out in there, but you know what? This is gonna be delicious. So yeah, guys, here we go. Now this looks good, but looking good and tasting good is two different things. So you know what? Let's give it a little taster and see what's going on. Mm -mm. Listen, anybody that knows me, when I go, mm -mm, that means that it tastes good and trust me, this tastes good. Listen, um, I'll put I'll put um the ingredients details in the description. So anybody wants to know how I made this dish, the ingredients will be down below. Listen, man, I'm gone now because I just need to destroy this food. Bye. Have a good day, guys.